Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Don and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today we are going to be taking a quick look at the B2 battery dock from Bobo VR and you know, color me intrigued. This thing says it's universal and it's got magnetic swappable batteries. So can't wait to get into this box and take a look. Let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this little box and see what's in there, shall we? So slide that off there and let's see, there we go. So, all right, a little contents of the box. Uh, you know, not too much, not to expect too much in here, but you've got your instruction manual, obviously. Uh, looks like we've got our little universal Velcro strapping system there. And uh, the star of the show, which is what we've been waiting for, this USB cable. No, just kidding. Here is the battery dock itself. So very cool looks like it's got the uh the velcro on the back already there there is where we're going to make connection to the quest 2 um, and the battery dock is completely magnetic so uh, you can see here we get the battery out of the bag and uh, you know i gotta say not a lot of weight to that uh, so it feels really good here and Boom. Oh man, clicks right in place and immediately, now that it made contact, turned on, fully lit up. Love the white ring and the white lights there. So awesome, Bobo. I can't wait to get this installed and check it out. so how did the Bobo B2 dock hold up in real life? Well, you know, I got about two and a half hours out of it, roughly about 228 when I clocked it. Now, you know, you can see right here, they are saying it should get three hours of gameplay, but with the disclaimer you see right here, it does say if you are using something that's a little more intense, it might drain a little faster. And, and I was streaming back to my PC, so I'm not going to knock Bobo VR on two and a half hours. Now, for you, is that worth it? That that's the big question. I mean, this thing is like forty bucks. So I guess you know if you're really into something that you really need that extra power for. Uh, we all know the Quest Two drains pretty quickly. Sure, you know it's it's a pretty good system. Now I will say if you are looking at buying a second battery, as you see here, it is thirty four ninety nine for that. I'd personally spend the extra five bucks, just get a second one of these, and now you've got a dock on the desk and you've got a dock on the headset, and you can easily hot swap those batteries and always have one charging on the desk. So if you are interested in any of this, I am going to leave links for everything you need in the description. Uh, so go there and grab some. And I can't thank Bobo enough again for sending this out. This is something that I will actually use. So for me, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video you know i love that and uh i will see you in the next one this is don signing off